I'm Brian O'Connor. I'm the president and founder of Airburners. So I appreciate you being here on our uh, first time to display our brand new machine, the BioCharger. You'll see four pieces out here. There's a, a firebox where we're burning up the vegetative waste. Connected to that is a power module. We take the heat, we run it through some systems into an organic Rankin cycle generator. We make electricity. We send that into the battery storage module. The battery storage module is designed to be able to connect for these electric vehicles. Also, you'll see inside there, there's 120 volts where we can plug into things like you know, your radios and you know, cell phones and you know, whatever else you happen to have on site that might need to be recharged. And then we have a cooling module. I'd like to introduce you to a Scott Fay from TCI Rood. This is his facility. And so we'd like him to chat for a minute about his experience. Thank you and good morning. It's great to have you at our facility. It's amazing what has happened here since 2017 because of the air burner that we use. And we started out as landscapers and we've been landscaping ever since. And we've been doing it the same way until here just recently thanks to these people. So I'm excited about this technology. What it does for us, currently it saves us between $250,000 and $300,000 a year, and we do it in a clean way. We create really great product for soil and amendments. My name's Nate Anderson. I'm a research forester with the U.S. Forest Service, and I'm in the research and development branch of the U.S. Forest Service. We've been involved in cooperative research and development agreements uh, with air burners for, for many years now, over a decade, on several different fronts, including the Charboss and other types of air burners. I think the biggest lesson we've learned in the research and development branch of the Forest Service is the value of public-private partnership when it comes to research and when it comes to operationalizing research. We have a lot of talented uh, scientists and engineers, but without that collaboration with industry, with people who can bring this to market and can bring it to customers. And we can have industry uh, really focus on their expertise and the engineering and bringing this stuff to market. And I, I think that public-private partnership is a, a very powerful tool when it comes to innovation. This is a good example of that. If you'd like to see more about our machines, then of course, airburners.com would be the place to go. You can look at all of our machines, details and how they work. 